Hello everyone. Today we disclose the hidden story of Grandmaster Wang Zhengping, 1881 to 1973. He was a proud Chinese Muslim. He had a beautiful fist land beard and follow the Hanfi school. He specialized in Chinese martial art and he was known for his mastery of wushu and tai chi. He also served as a leader of Shaolin Kung Fu division of martial arts. Islam has practiced in China since the time of the Sahaba 1400 years ago. May Allah assist and grant relief to all our brothers and sisters who are being oppressed in China and across the world because of their faith in Allah and his messenger Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam Today here we mention the two great Muslim grandmaster of China one is Ma Zianda and the other is Wang Ziping Muslim grandmaster that should be mentioned is Wang Ziping He was born in 1881 and lived until 1973. During his life, he has revived the title of Lion of Chinese Kung Fu. Even though both of his father and grandfather were famous martial artists, they refused to teach Zi Peng. They didn't want him to experience the suffer they had to go through. Wang Zi Peng, on the other hand, was passionate about it and started to train on his own when he was 7 years old he made the decision to travel around the country during his trip he was choosing to train under the wushu master yang hong zio many dared to challenge him in a fight but he stayed undefeated german workers of group of judo player and the american name sullivan could not win over him after the 1949 revolution he was respected as a hero and was appointed as deputy to shanghai municipal people congress vice president of national wushu association and as a member of all china sports federation Islam in China is well documented with the Hui people acting as the largest Muslim minority with in the country from approximately 19 years after the prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam a relationship between China and Arabia was already in place it was a third khalifa Uthman who initiated to first conscious of effort to spread Islam in the religion with subsequent trade missions also contributing to the spread of Islam the Hindu Muslim came from this lineage a unification of Arabia and China to form this unique position of authentic Chinese culture infused with islamic tradition the like of which can still be seen to this day in various part of the country from mostly concentrated in the northern western part of china the practice of martial art still takes place in various masajid mosque around the country with islamic sciences with taught at the same time As we know that in China many Muslim grand masters exist before the century centuries but only did martial art combine with the practical aspects of defense for the long sea faring trade missions but it also was a special tool of many Muslim masters the need for self control and restraint reflect in both martial arts and traditional Islamic teaching 
The concept of Islam self-control was used by martial art masters in the physical realm as well, with practitioners putting emphasis on both spiritual and physical aspects of training. The need for calm and collective decision making is a tradition upheld by Muslims. As seen in the tradition of the Prophet Muhammad Wasallam, the strong is not the who overcomes the pupil by his strength, but the strong is the one who controls himself while in anger. The essence of itihad diligence in maintaining self-discipline in integral in both parts. He is Mazayanda. One of them is the Muslim Grandmaster Mazayanda was born in 1932 in Hebu province, China. He belongs to the sixth generation of the prominent Hebu family of martial artists and to a handful master that has reached the highest level in Chinese martial art. That is in the ninth dawn. He was one of the first and youngest at the time to receive his rank. His father and uncle started to train him at the age of five. Grandmaster Mazianda learned many traditional Wushu styles and studied boxing, Mongolian wrestling, Shuajuan and fencing. It is estimated that he taught around 10,000 students during his career, including Zhao Chanjin and Jet Li. In 1980, he became the martial artist coach and chief choreographer of the movie The Shaolin Temple, starring Jet Li. On the top of that, more than 20 students of him earned the title of Wu Ying, martial hero. This is a title awarded to the athlete who have placed more than once in the top three positions in China national championship. Both of his sons are national champions as well. It is more like a family legacy. Various art forms such as Salat and Wushu have been perfected by Muslims of the last few hundred years, with many original martial art being either created or adopted by Muslims as well, such as Zen Kwan and Ping Kwan. Ping Kwan. These original developments were tools that were created after by army officials or to safeguard Muslims in China, being passed down in secret through generations. The history of uh, this message, uh, marriage between martial art and Islam. There are many names to consider. We can easily example of martial arts masters such as Wang Ziping, 1881 to 1973, and Chang Tung Cheng, 1908 to 1986, who trained in their discipline while retaining their faith and using it as a mean to come closer to Allah and the teachings of their religion. In reality, martial art and the Islamic tradition share a unique bound and history that within them both contain means to achieve a greater purpose. Acting as a reflection of each other, the history of Islam in China lead to the expansion of the religion to the far eastern corner of the world and the practical nature of martial art help defend this tradition in a way that keep the uniqueness of Chinese culture with the absoluteness of the religion of Islam.